All right, today we're going to install Unraid on an R710 server. So take a USB stick, and plug it in. And then we go to unraid.net. Go ahead and hit free trial to get a copy of the OS. Download for Windows or Mac, depending on what system is going and download. Once it's download, you just have to hit the creator. It's going to bring up your Unraid Flash Creator. Go with the stable version. Go with the latest one. And I'm just going to call mine um, Madhouse. And then select the USB allow for UEFI boot and write the image. It says it's going to be ripe. You say yes. And like I said, I'm installing mine on an R710, but you can really install it on anything that you want to install it on. All right. So we'll just pause until this gets finished. All right. So <clears throat> we can tell that it's um, the writing is done. So we're just going to go ahead and close it out, and then we'll go down and um, put it on our system. All right. So we take the USB drive that we copied Unraid on and open up the Unraid server. And you can see right here where I plugged the USB in internally. And then I closed it back up. And then we just boot up the system, and it will just go straight into Unraid. And then we're going to go upstairs, and we're going to... <clears throat> Um, use the um, GUI to finish it up. Alright, so we went ahead and we installed Unraid. We're at the GUI front end now. I'm going to log in. Yeah, <clears throat> I already pre registered, so I already have my registration already done. But if we go down here, we see all these array disks unassigned. We have a pool device um, that, if we want to add a cache, um, we can hit add pool. And then add the cache and how many slots that we want. <clears throat> so the problem with that for me is I don't have a um, SSD card. It's actually in the mail. So once that comes in, I'll add my cache later. And we go down here to the unassigned devices, and it's reading all my drives. So what I want to do now is I want to come up here and actually assign my devices. So if I click here, I have like two five terabyte drives, and I'm going to put them in as my parity arrays. That way I can have backup because you want your biggest drive up there. So I'm going to put the MD1 in first, and then I'm going to put in the um, second drive. Then after that, I need to put in my disks. So I'm going to just end up putting in this um, 160 gigabyte drive now. And then I'm going to put in this 750 gigabyte drive. And I'm going to use those um, until they get closer to being filled up. And then I'll be able to expand with my other drives later. Um, I'm just going to keep the others in the bay until I need to use them. Then, now that I have everything done, all I got to do is hit start to start it. And then it's going to tell me my parity disk will be overwritten. Hit proceed. And then just let it go through the um, process, and your parity drives and your arrays will be set up, and you'll be able to use them in the future. All right, so what you notice now is that <clears throat> these disks are green here. Um, but it says it's unmountable, 
unsupported partition layout. Um, that's because I didn't format those. So what we can do is come down here, hit yes. I want to format them. And then just hit format and it's going to format these two disks. And the next thing, the reason these parities um, up here, they're running through the parity process. So once that's done, um, these will like turn green and say we're okay. And you notice um, these still over here, they're formatting now. So once we're done, um, on those quick, so we'll be um, done. We can use this disk space. It's formatted and I have no errors. So we are ready to go after the parity gets done. Let's start. All right, I'm gonna really quick show you guys how to set up a user. Let's go to users, add user, put in your name, your account, and this is my user account. If I want a picture, I can just select my, you know, well, got to downsize that, but um, if you have a PNG that you want to add, you can add it there. And then type in my password. Is it add? And creating a new user is as easy as that. And now I got my user for my shares. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to get your apps running. So we just click on apps and we just hit install. And we hit done. And I understand. I understand again. And now we just go through this and figure out what apps that we want to run on our system. If you have any ideals, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.